for sure. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be trying out some Bleeding Edge. Oh my god. This game is actually incredibly fun. I'm gonna show you guys a few games of me playing Damon. And this character is like probably one of my favorite damage dealers. And I already found my favorite tank and favorite support and everything. But today I just wanted to focus on Damon. But I cannot wait for this game oh, to release on the 24th, I believe, of this month. And once it releases, I'm probably going to be trying to go professional with this game. As you can see right now, I'm aiming to take out healers mostly as Damon. Uh, as Damon, you want to, you know, focus really on squishies and you definitely want to kill the healers. I would definitely say uh, mod to Barang a lot of the times is the silence upon wake up. It is actually extremely good for shutting down healers who want to heal right after they come out of sleep. And it's actually really useful for chasing down enemies that, you know, have these little abilities to get you off of them. But yeah, overall, this game is actually pretty cool, pretty neat. And I'm enjoying every last bit of it. And this is one of my few matches that I've, you know, did really good in. And I wanted to show off some of the um, Damon. And our team was doing really great. Our zero was healing me, just kept me alive. And I appreciate it now, yeah, this mind control crap that the snake has. But if you guys are curious of what this game is, it's basically a 4v4 where you guys have two different modes. One is capture the power cell where you catch a whole bunch of, let's say it's just like collect dog tags and turn them in to a certain point. That is unlocked on the minimap. As you can see, A was unlocked, now it just shut down. Back into, it goes into a, like a collection phase where you just find power cells and just turn them in when it goes into the deposits phase. And then there's a, this mode where we're doing domination to where we're just yeah, basically capturing the points. And uh, I gotta say, I would definitely say capture the point is definitely my favorite. Um, I think a lot of people would mostly just like to play a skirmish type of situation okay. when it comes to like this game. Because everybody just goes after kills, man. It's insane how much your team will go after kills and not play objective. Just keep that in mind. When you see your team going for kills and want to start the game off with just kills, it's it's weird. Nobody tries to fight objective at the start of the game. They literally just go for a team fight at the start, which really isn't the smartest idea because you know once we beat that and you know win that team fight, it's kind of like where do we go from that point? We have to walk all the way across the map, wasting time to get to an objective after the team fight. Which makes me wonder, what's going on? Does people do people know something I don't know? What? And yeah, I'm dead. What? Okay, Gabe. <laughs> okay, let's see what happened. Okay, it was burn damage. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just really wondering what the hell he hit me I was with. Doing like really, oh yeah, I'm doing the best on team right now. But as you can see, this is from like a like stream that I was doing. And this stream was actually pretty fun. I love streaming this game so far. But I'm gonna go with, through withdrawals once, you know, the beta's over. That's gonna be a feels bad. But I did play quite a bit and enjoyed myself. Let me see where this leads. And yes, I did solo ult the tank because the tank is like a really big issue because he really can't be staggered by us attackers and staggered by most units in the game. So he is a real annoyance. And him not being staggered means he can just hit you through all your attacks and interrupt you. Which uh, is gonna damn. really fuck uh, up our team. Uh, wait, did we change from a healer? Okay, no. Zero just sits in here right now. I think he died. So also my bad if you guys don't like me talking over my own commentary, uh, just, didn't like you know solo recorded and everything and i had like music playing in the background so i'm kind of you know talking over it and playing a little bit of my own music over it just to make sure you know no copyright shit comes into play but hey anyway man i 
This game as Damon was actually really fun. I barely get to play with him just because a lot of other people play with him. And Damon's Damn, definitely bro, a poster boy out. of this game. I think my most annoying disadvantage Never to fight is Gizmo. Like, I can get a boner, you know, and hit her, but if I'm trying to escape, that woman is insane to escape from. Her range is basically insane. Her weakness is when she get when you get up on her. And I guess another counter to me, our counter is a tank that can't be staggered. Just because they'll beat my ass in a 1v1. Other attackers are pretty easy to kill in. Yeah, I could kill actually attackers pretty easy in a 1v1. It's just when they have a healer, that's a different story. Okay, yeah, I remember this. I mean, you get hit too, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, say that's the wrong place to be doing that. The only reason that happens is just because when you mind control as that snake, basically your character is standing still. So I guess he didn't know that and just mind controlled me while also on like terrain damage as well. I mean, trains one shot you, those missiles just hit you pretty hard. Oh, see. But, wow, this game is a lot more amazing than I actually thought. Because when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, this game looks pretty cool. I definitely want to try it out and, you know, looks like a game I want to be professional in. Or, you know, at least pro in a sense. So I'm going to be uploading a lot of this, a lot of these uh, videos of, you know, Bleeding Edge. Once it comes out. I couldn't win that fight, so I was just like, fuck it, spin the wind is too strong. Because <laughs> once he gets that shield, I can't stagger him. Basically, it's like smite. When somebody has a shield, they can't be affected by debuffs, and you know they can't be staggered, which is annoying. But like I was saying, man, this hmm, this game, I can't wait for it to be fully released. Cause when it's fully released, boy, ooh, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of videos of this, and I'm not even gonna regret it. But I do gotta say, this game has a lot of unique characters, like so many cool ones. We got Moana walking around here, that's not even his name, but you know, we all know what he looks like, <laughs> or similar to. And then there is Rock and Roll dude who just died, then there's Zero, the healer, who just, you know, is basically like Mercy. Then there's Gizmo with the minigun, who's basically Jinx. <laughs> The longer you shoot, the faster she gets, and she has little turrets as well. And then you got Miss Rohog over there. <laughs> yeah, the Wish Doctor over here is really annoying. This guy's gonna keep trying to parry me. I don't... I mean, you're just resetting me at this point. Yeah, the thing is, he just kept resetting my attack animation, so I could literally go directly back into stuff. Because that spin attack Damon does at the end is kind of like, meh. Just because it takes so much time to recover from it. I tried to sleep in there, it wasn't going to work. Yeah, you see that little open window when Damon like, spins up? None of that actually does initial damage. It just does damage after you actually land an attack. I didn't actually realize how good I was doing because I was more, mostly playing passive, protecting the objective and getting everybody off of it, initiating with my team. But I gotta say, yeah, our I team was doing you. extremely good in this one. <laughs> you... Oh my god, I'm up 20 kills. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> then I looked at the scoreboard, I was just like, oh wow. But as you guys saw, the healer, Zero, Zero Cool, <laughs> he was always on me and able to heal me. That's why I like to see just somebody behind the person with the most damage and doing. You know the best on the team. Poor Miki got separated here, but it's a uh, character came around. We have to kill her because she's a healer. Always aim for the healer. The the healers are in this game are fucking ridiculous. Good luck trying to out damage a healer that's already healing. <laughs> it's annoying. Not even Moana here. Freaking heals too. He he does a crap ton of damage. But, overall, this game is actually pretty cool. Can you stop hitting me? 
And that's GG. <laughs> and with all that said, man, GG's. I'm going to leave you guys with the final match that I did without the commentary. Because I just wanted to actually talk a small little bit, but I had so much to say about this. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I am a sweat. <laughs> this was actually a really fun match. But expect more. That's all I can say is expect more until I get bored or, you know, until I actually just come an actual I'm god at it. <laughs> well, I doubt I become a god because every time I play Damon, it, it appears that our team wins, especially if our healer follows up, follows up on me and our tanks around. If everybody's just around in a group, just goes fantastically as I'm playing Damon, just because I can actually focus. And the worst thing guys stop going for mid fights go to objective then start a team Game? fight Hello? just so you can get those extra little bit of points as they're respawning as you kill them stop killing in the middle of the map push? then running to objective because you're wasting as much time as they are you know initiating cool i mean that does the same thing for them they either run to objective if you die but at least if you actually win the team fight everything starts off <laughs> and the way to pay attention to that of where the next objective is going to pop up is to look at your mini map it will glow the objective will glow white and there will be a ring that fills up around and there'll be a ring that fills up around the objective follow that with that said hope you guys enjoy the rest like silencing them sounds really good I need them, I can just tack up close and just say fuck it. Uh let's see. Cooldown reduction. Meh. I gotta say damn dude, I got a lot of credits in like such a short amount of time. That's what ta Ooh. That also sounds pretty good too. But I can't spend it on anything here. Oh, that's my points. Oh, let's capture point again. Let's tear it up. It's a short little trail, but you know, I feel like that can still give you away. We still got 12 seconds. Range is insane. <laughs> I was about to say, there's no way I'm gonna get get away from it just because her range is insane, and I already used my invisibility. That's like there's nothing our uh, zero could have done either because his wall is basically useless because you can shoot through it. Uh, let's 
The only way I could have lived if we had a Mika with a bubble. That's pretty much it. Now you see me, now you do. Speed and steel, pal. Objectives deactivated. I say, let's leave that battle. Oh, wow. Somebody killed a uh, zero. What? <laughs> I mean, you're still gonna waste roll. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> ah, they definitely wanted me because I was doing too much. <laughs> screwing us up the most is um, objectives. Uh, 
now. Appreciate it. Objectives deactivated. I say, so they want to fight for that instead of uh, just staying on objective run and grab that. Weird. can break my invisibility do not think that's a little bit too op and you give her movement speed and then mech a heavy mech think about that <laughs> devs think about giving movement speed to a thing that's already in the mech and i guess mechs are light as fuck <laughs> for her to just catch up with me like that <laughs> hello <laughs> Are we not paying attention to how mechs work? <laughs> okay. is deactivated. There we go. <laughs> well, the game tells me, always aim for the healer. <laughs> you can get the healer out, you're good. I want to see. 